I am back and I am going to be doing a first impressions makeup tutorial on this look here. You're thinking, whoa, Anna, you have gone for the black lip. Like, what have you done? Like, I'm being bold and I'm being daring. This video is in collaboration with Beauty Bay and recently they have done a campaign all about being bold, about being brave and expressing your inner self. They have done a campaign called hashtag Queen BB. BB stands for Beauty Bay. Hashtag Queen Beauty Bay. Do you get it? And they are encouraging people to try more bold and daring makeup looks. There is five different looks that they created within this campaign and I created the look of Drew. I'll put a picture on screen here so you guys can see the looks that I took inspiration from. I tried to get it as close as possible. As I said, I couldn't get it exact, but I did use a black lip and that was like pretty bold for me. So this is the finished tutorial, it's kind of like a half cut crease, very nice winter smoky eye. If you do enjoy it, remember to give it a huge thumbs up and yeah, let's just get into the video. I am starting off this makeup look trying the Stila One Step Correcting Serum and this is the Skin Tone Correcting and Brightening one. I have really oily skin and a very red skin so I really wanted to try something that was kind of hopefully going to kind of blur that so it comes out with a mixture of all the colours which is quite nice so hopefully this is actually going to make a difference under my makeup. I don't know if it's going to make an immediate difference or whether it's just going to help underneath my foundation. It literally glides on your skin. Also I have my brows already filled in. They're filled in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow which I love. Now that's on and I guess when it's blending in it's kind of giving me a bit more of an immediate coverage. It feels really nice, feels really soft, quite sticky so hopefully that means the foundation's going to stick. For foundation I'm going to be trying the Cover FX Natural Finish Foundation. Now I don't know about you, I've heard so much about this. I've wanted to try it for a long long time. Mine is in the shade N30. I don't know if this is going to be too light or too dark, I just kind of had to guess. So fingers crossed this is going to be a match and as well I don't know how much you're going to need. I've just done two squirts there and I'm just going to wow okay this is very very thick so I don't know how much I'm going to need but this is extremely thick. Normally I get along well with kind of very dewy foundations that aren't as thick so I don't know how I'm going to get on with blending this but it should be okay. It's just a very thick pasty consistency. Also I know you're not meant to put foundation on your eyelids. I just do this just to give it an even coverage but I'm very very careful around that area because obviously the skin's a lot thinner. Now we can go back and add in more if we need to but we'll just see how this blends first. I keep pushing forward, but it keeps... I mean the coverage is pretty good, I just think I need a bit more on my skin so we're just going to kind of add a bit more in the areas I think I need it because I have quite a few blemishes and spots at the moment, however it is blending really nicely and it's blending into a colour that's perfect for my skin. I find it so hard to match my foundation. I keep pushing forward but it keeps pulling me backwards. I've seen lots of reviews on this foundation saying it does give amazing coverage and I would 100% agree. I'm normally very samey samey, I don't really change up my foundations but this looks like it might be making its way into my everyday makeup routine because this has given me such an even base. I mean it is a little bit too dark for my neck area but I would blend it all the way down here but I don't really want to blend it all the way down but obviously when I'm wearing other tops this will look a lot better and hopefully when I've powdered it it should look okay. For concealer we are going to go in and try the Milani Retouch and Erase Light Lifting Concealer. I've also heard a lot about this, a big big fan of Milani products. I've got the Milani, whoa that came out fast! This is in Fair 1 so this is the lightest one that I could get. I'm a big fan of the Milani 2-in-1 concealer foundation so Hopefully, this is going to be good. I've got quite high hopes for this. I'm going to carry on with my Real Technique sponge, but... Oh, okay. That coverage is good. That's a really nice colour. I would have liked it to be a little bit lighter. Got it on my lip. Just that well done. I would have liked it to have been a little bit lighter, just so it kind of pops my face a little bit more and highlights my areas, but nevertheless this is actually quite a good concealer. It gives flawless coverage which is obviously really good for this kind of flawless makeup look that we're going for. As you guys can see my face just looks very even and very blended. It looks quite oily and liquidy so we are going to go in and set it. I just dropped my beauty blender on the floor. 
Where's it gone? Got it. Here it is. To set this in place, I'm so excited to try this. This is the Beauty Bakery Better Not Bitter Flour setting powder. The packaging is amazing, it literally looks like a flower bag and then you open it out and you've got the powder in it. Just a little transparent pot, it says Beauty Bakery on top and then it just says flour. So this is super exciting. Okay, I need to peel the sticker off. Oh my gosh. That did not mean to happen. I just spit, I just ate it. I love that. Thank gosh I've got jammers on, but this is actually quite a yellow toned powder. I'm just gonna pat this all in the areas. Like I said, I have extremely oily skin. Okay, so we will leave that on my face to see how well that holds, but the areas that I've put it on already, it has mattified a lot. Now, while this bakes and I've got this huge yellow line down my nose, we are gonna move on to my eyes. So this is gonna be a kind of inspired look by Drew. I don't think I'm gonna create the exact thing, but this is gonna be a very much inspired look. I'm gonna start off with a palette that looks incredible, and this is the Morphe 35P. As you can see here, it's got so many beautiful matte shades in it, so that's what we're gonna start off by using. So let me just grab a brush and I'm going to use maybe one of these shades here just to blend it along the top of my crease and just to kind of give me a transition shade. I don't know how pigmented this is going to be, so let's just pray. Okay, that's quite a nice shade actually. I'm going to darken it up a little bit with a brownie shade and we need to bring this quite high because I am going to be bringing a glitter shade up to the top of the crease. These eyeshadows as well blend perfectly together, but I expected that because Morphe eyeshadows are incredible. I'm now just going to go and do the same on the other eye. I really, really like it. I love these colours. I never normally wear kind of like purpley toned eyeshadows. Not really because I didn't really have any, but... Looks like this is probably going to be my next go-to eyeshadow colour because I really like it. Now that's really faded and really blended out, I need to darken it up a little bit in the outer crease. I feel like the darkest shade in this palette is probably going to be this one here. Don't want to darken it up too much and go for a black, so I think we're just going to go for this shade here and pop this in the outer corner. Yes, I love that. That's a really nice berry shade. Now I need to get some concealer and I'm just going to draw a solid line from the inner corner about halfway up just so you can do a beautiful cut crease using glitter. And for this I'm going to use again the Milani Retouch and Erase Concealer and just a concealer brush. Bear with me, this might not work. I'm really hoping it does. <laughs> Now that is done, I'm going to repeat it on the other eye and then we will add some glitter. Whilst I do the glitter, I've zoomed in for you guys. So as you can see, I have cut the crease just halfway. I didn't do it too high up because I have a very big temptation of doing that. So I've just done it just enough so you can see the clear line where the glitter is going to be. For this, I'm going to be using the Coloured Rain Queen of Hearts palette. And this is absolutely stunning. It's got some beautiful, beautiful glitter shades. This gold one here is amazing. These to be a beautiful and I love this purple shade as well. I am going to be using the gold shade Your Majesty and I'm going to use a flat top brush because obviously I'm not sure how pigmented it's going to be yet but we're just going to put quite a lot of this in and then we're just going to outline the crease line that I've drew. So I added some of the glitter but it's not as bright as I wanted it to be so I'm going to add some white first and then we're going to go back in with the gold. <laughs> Now I've done that, I'm going to go back in with some of the glitter shade. I'm just going to blend this on the outer corner lid. This is a gorgeous brassy copper shade. And I wish this was more pigmented or didn't really like blend in with the purple as well because it would have looked so pretty going along here. I'm just going to repeat that to the other eye and then we're going to use another palette to add a little bit more glitter because I love glitter. The glitter on Drew's look is amazing so I just want to make it pop a little bit more. And for this I'm going to be trying the Jouer Skinny Dip Ultra Foil Shimmer Shadows palette. And as you can see this palette is just full of beautiful shimmer eyeshadows. We're going to go over it with the shade Skinny Dip which is kind of a khaki goldy green. I just really like glitter so basically I just want to use as many glitter shades as I can. That is so beautifully shimmery. And then I'm going to repeat it on the other side. This is so beautiful, I actually cannot deal. 
there we go there is the glitter shade added on how beautiful is that i literally am obsessed i want to go back in and darken the outer corner so i'm going to be a bit brave and i'm going to add the shade ladyship which is a purple shade from the colored rain queen of hearts palette because i think we need to darken it up a little bit oh my gosh that's amazingly beautiful that's like the perfect dark purpley shade and we're just going to go in and do the same on the other eye i love this so much but obviously no eye look is complete without lashes and liner so i'm gonna go away put my lashes on put my eyeliner on then we will move back on to the face here is the finished eye look i am obsessed with this the lashes that i used are from lily lashes i will leave a link to them down below but how incredible are these i'm fully obsessed with this eyeshadow look i have never really done anything like this before but i love it the next thing we are going to try is more face stuff so we're going to go with the makeup geek bronze luster compact and this is in the shade tawny i really do need to bronze my skin up a little bit more so that's super pretty i don't want to look like i've just come from a chimney but oh that's really really pretty and then we'll also pop some on my forehead my temples just so it adds more color as we are lacking definition in the face this is a super super pretty bronzer i actually think this is going to become one of my favorites because it's blending so easy it's a really nice shade as well it will look really pretty for the winter time just to kind of darken up any makeup look we're going to go in with highlight which is of course one of my favorite things to do ever this is the jeffree star cosmetics skin frost in eclipse and i love this because it's the manny mua collection so it's in black packaging and it's absolutely massive so you get so much product how do you open it here we go oh my god how stunning is that and the mirror oh my gosh i'm living i'm gonna grab another morphe brush because morphe brushes are my favorite and we are just gonna glow we need to glow we're gonna add so much glow to this makeup look honestly guys can you see this obviously the more you build it up the more blinding it's gonna be but this is so beautiful obviously you've got to add some on the end of your nose because what makeup look is complete until you've got a little glowing nose finally we're going to go in with our lip color now i wanted to do something really daring and drew actually had a black lip so i'm going to try black lip obviously i probably wouldn't wear a black lip every single day out i would wear it out on a night though so i'm going to be daring i'm going to try a black lip but if you do want to recreate this makeup look obviously you can wear whatever lip color you wish i also think it would look really nice with a burgundy lip i'm going to be using the la splash lip couture waterproof liquid lipstick and this is in the shade venom this is the darkest lip color i'm ever going to wear you know the pressure putting this on right now because i do not want to get it anywhere on my skin because literally i will not be able to recover that so here is the finished makeup look the black lip actually went on which i was like yes give me a high five everybody didn't smudge it didn't get it anywhere didn't even get it on my teeth so I done pretty well to get that on but i love this it's proper daring for me it's proper vampy but i really like it for the winter like i would go out like this i literally would go out like this and be bold and daring and just do it i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did remember to give it a huge thumbs up and let me know if you are going to recreate any of the look that i've created today if you do tag me in on instagram tweet me i would love to see but yeah other than that i really hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you on a sunday at 10 a.m for a brand new video Bye!